Hi guys, welcome uh, to uh, a, a, the first episode in a new series that I've decided to uh, to, to film and, and, and to put out uh, once again on my channel. Um, obviously, uh, this channel is, um, is is a part of, I guess, my, my bigger social media efforts. Um, so this is on t T's Creative Ramblings. Um, but very much if, if you want to follow along on Facebook, uh, then check out T's Foaming Terrain and all that. And I, I know it's a lot of different T's and all that. Um, the reason why Creative Ramblings is Creative Ramblings is because uh, it encompasses everything that I do creatively. Um, so I, I um, write crime fiction uh, stories uh, and, and they're being published. Um, I write comic book stories and they're being published um, and and I'm also doing my model railway. Um, so rather than do lots of separate channels uh, to incorporate to, to cover all the things that I want to do, um, I decided to just do one overall channel. Um, so hopefully um, you know you're watching maybe for the first time um, and uh, maybe you're a brand new player to uh, to wargaming in general, but maybe specifically bolt action. Um, what this series is going to do is 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 basically a bolt action basics um, series, and and I'm going to be touching on some of the the perhaps um, aspects of the game um, and the game itself uh, that you you need to know as a beginner, or or maybe you know you haven't wargamed before and you've got lots of questions. Um, so uh, this this hopefully uh, is the series for you if you want to pick up bolt action and, 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 and play. So today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at what you need uh, to have to be able to play the game. And obviously if you're playing with a friend and then they've got a lot of the stuff already, then you, you're doing well. Certainly when I started off I had nothing um, and I went along and played with friends and, and, and they had all the equipment and, and so it was great. And as I got more into the hobby, I could pick up my own uh, my own belongings. So let's go through uh, some of the basics you're going to need. So first of all, um, you may, um, as long as one person in your group has the rule set, um, you're going to do pretty well. So this is the bolt action rule book. Um, I have a uh, another video um, reviewing this product. And if you're interested in knowing more about the book, check that out. Um, that's on the same channel under product reviews playlist. So that's the rule books. Um, the rule book. Um, you don't have to have the army, uh, the army list books, um, but they are useful uh, as well if you, if you're really getting serious and into the game. Again, more reviews on my product review uh, playlist, and, and please feel free to go check those out. So you need the rule book. Next thing you need is somewhere to play. Um, traditionally, uh, uh, most games of bolt action are played on a table, not necessarily circular, usually more rectangular. Uh, maybe your dining room table or, or a table at your school if you can rent out a room or something. But you need a space and ideally you're looking for a six by four table, a six foot feet by four feet. Okay. Now, you may choose to play on a smaller surface and that's absolutely fine. One of the great things about bolt action is that you can basically use the rules for whatever game and whatever circumstances that, that you have. So if you've only got a four foot by four foot table, you can play on that. Um, absolutely, there's nowhere in the rules that says you must have a six by four table, otherwise that's it, you're not a bolt action player. In fact, actually the rules are very good in saying that, you know, if you wanna play on a small table, do. If you wanna play on a bigger table, do. Um, if you don't like some of the rules and you want to change them slightly, do that. Yeah, um, it, it's a very easy going rule set as rule sets go. So you need a table. You might also want to have some sort of tablecloth. Now this uh, this green one that I use on my table here is is a, from Games Workshop. Um, it's their their sort of green grass uh, battle mats, and they are six by four. However. You might decide that um, you, you don't want to play on grass, you want to play on snow and you, you might go to Walmart or your local fabric shop and buy a 6x4 bit of white fabric and play on that. That's absolutely fine. You might even just want to play on the table itself. Again, really easy. You, you kind of do uh, what you have to work with. So you've got your table, you've got something to play on or perhaps not. Next thing you need 
is perhaps maybe some terrain. Now, you you don't have to have you know the world's greatest looking terrain. You could have uh, some cut out pieces of fabric, as I've mentioned. You know, maybe for a bits of river, or or maybe you cut out a bit of green for some trees, or maybe you have a bit of brown fabric in a funny shape for a hill. Uh, okay, it it is completely up to you, and and whatever your budget allows, you know, you you can uh, make whatever works for you. You could even have bits of paper cut out if needs be with trees written on it or whatever. Okay, it is really really up to you and, and what you have and how you want to do it. Um, I will cover terrain in, in another episode and we'll go in more depth about you know the types of terrain you might want to include. Um, I've just included a, a nice bit of river that I made uh, just last week um, and some sandbags that I bought off a, a company. So you've got your table, you've got something to play on, you've got some terrain. Next thing you need um, is tape measure. Okay, we measure movement with with um, tape measures generally played in inches. Okay, uh, so a tape measure with inches on is good. Or if you don't want a tape measure, you could use uh, a ruler. You know that would work as well. A um, little bit tricky when you work with vehicles because they move up to eighteen inches. So unless you've got a long ruler, then uh, then then you might be needing to uh, you know put your finger on a point and then measure further. But Again, all very doable. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's very easy, and you don't feel any pressure that you have to have specifically. You know, this product made from this company or whatever. Do it as you wish. Okay. Other things we need: a dice, um, just some six-sided dice, um, or what we refer to as D6. Um, these will come in handy, particularly when you get into big firefights that you're going to really enjoy. Um, and something else that you can have but you don't necessarily need are the order dice. Now these dice are great and they're produced by Warlord Games. Um, they actually have the orders on. So you have your run, your fire, uh, rally, ambush, um, advance. Okay, all those are on there and they come in different colors. Now the reason why you need those is because the, the turn system, um, who, deciding who goes when, is done at random. Okay, now to add to the order dice, you need something to put your your order dice and your opponent's order dice in. Now it could be you get one of the bags off Warlord Games and they look wonderful, and in fact I've just ordered one. But you could just simply use a biscuit tin, or a cookie tin if you're American, or you could use a baseball cap. I mean really, it's that simple. All you need is something that people can't see into, and you just dip your hand in and you pull out the next order dice. So it is really, uh, it can, could be as simple as that and that's one of the great things about the game. You also need um, something that's going to represent pins. Okay, Now this could be a penny, this could be a little, uh, one of those tiddlywink counters. Um, I've got some uh, from Flames of War. Um, they're just markers, uh, they've got different things written on but I, I ignore those. Um, yeah, so you can use really whatever. Um, just very quickly going back to the order dice. Obviously order dice are great and, and having those is great, but if you can't afford to, but you still want to play, you could just use some simple different colored dice. So maybe one color for you, a different color for your opponent, and you, know, you just put um, your dice into your, your bag or container. Um, so that that's it pretty much. Obviously the last thing you need is some figures. Um, and and we'll, we'll have a look at those in, in another episode. Um, figures come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes. You can buy individual what we call blister packs. So if you ever heard, hear somebody refer to a blister pack, this is what it is. Nice bit of plastic uh, packaging with this one. Uh, this one's got a machine gun team in it, but you can get squads in these. Um, the other way of doing it is getting a, a box set which has a larger number of figures in. Uh, it is more expensive. These ones are plastic, plastic Russians, but you could also uh, get box sets which have metal figures in as well. And, and I'll cover all that on, on, the, on, on the figure episode. So uh, that's kind of really all you need to get started. Um, if you are interested and you just want to have a look, um, by all means, check out the Warlord website. 
um, and I'll, I'll probably put some links down, maybe not on the screen, but down in the, the, the description box. Um, also, you know, you, you can, I mean, I picked this up from Homebase, really cheap. I think I picked up another one from Walmart for like a dollar or two, uh, really, really cheap. Um, dice, get these at any local game shop for uh, a couple of pounds or a few dollars. Um, uh, fabric, fabric's as cheap as fabric is. Um, you know, there's lots of different things you can do to make this an affordable hobby um, and, and, and get into it. And obviously, the more you get into it, the more you enjoy it the more you want to purchase great so check out the warlord website um i would also you know check out amazon amazon's always a good place to shop as well um ebay you know if you if you're not interested in buying brand new and you want a pre-painted army people are always saying selling on ebay but also facebook i mean there are multiple groups now set up for purchasing and selling um historical miniatures um check them out um, check out Facebook groups as well. There's a Bolt Action Facebook group, um, which has a ton, I mean, thousands of people on there that are all keen, enthusiastic players. And the, one of the greatest things that I really like about the, the community on Facebook is that everybody's pretty much laid back uh, and is really willing to help people to learn about the game. And if you've got questions, ask them. Um, I do all the time. You know, I forgotten a rule or something and I put in a question and within minutes I've usually got an answer so um, it's well worth maybe before getting into the game just checking out what's out there and, and speaking to people and um, find out a little bit more about it but this is basically all you need okay now um, next episode I'm going to look at as I'm going to look at the bases and um, a lot of people when they join the uh, sort of playing bolt action maybe have come from other wargaming uh, games um, and are a little unsure about basing figures and how to base or, or, or what size bases to use. So I'm going to look at that next episode and then probably uh, look at some painting as well in, in future episodes. And as I say, looking at some other bits, including the rules themselves. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, basic introduction to bolt action, the basics of bolt action. Um, please, you know, if you've enjoyed this video, like it. Um, comment if you've got any questions please throw them in the comments box comments box uh, I will uh, endeavor to answer them um, I will also if, you, if it's a particularly good question and, and I think it would be a really good uh, episode then maybe I'll do an episode on that or even just an episode where I answer questions um, so so please you know feel free to comment um, subscribe to my channel uh, check out my other videos um, or, or look me up on Facebook at T's foaming terrain and all that um, have a great rest of the day and uh, we will see you in the next episode. Okay, take care.